Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Talisha, also known as Creativity by T. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you are new to the channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button if you are not subscribed so that you can be notified whenever I upload a video. And if you are returning, thank you so much for your continued support. So today we are here for part two of my year in recap and this video will showcase my top 10 makes of 2021 and why. Now if you watched my previous video which showcased all of the makes that I made for 2021 thank you so much but you'll also probably notice that I'm wearing the same clothes. <laughs> yes I filmed multiple videos in the same day because I wanted to break them up because I felt like the videos would be too long. So yes that's why I'm wearing the same clothes I'm recording on the same day but this is new content so it's okay. <laughs> so anyway back to my top 10 picks now my top 10 picks are not in any order of how much i like them because i like them all equally for different reasons and i did not include any makes that i did not make for myself such as the shirts that i made for my husband and my sons now this was very 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 hard for me to pick because like i said i do like all of my makes but even if it was just like that one little thing that stood out i went ahead and put it in that category of top 10 picks so i am going to share those with you and while you are watching please let me know in the comments section below if you agree and or which ones are your favorites and if you remember what i made in my yearly roundup video that i previously did do you think one of those makes should have made it to this list i tell you what I'm, I'm saying it again it was a really hard thing to do but if I had to pick 10 of the makes that I made these are going to be it and again it's not in any specific order so without further ado let's get into my top 10 makes so the first garment that I made that I'm going to share with you is the Giselle dress. This is a dress that I made for the Black History's Pattern Designers Challenge back in February of 2021. And this dress was designed by Erin of Style So Me Patterns. I like this dress because it is flowy. I love the billowy sleeves and the gathered tiers. But what I like most about this is something that I want more of in my wardrobe. And that is the front tie love it i feel that the front tie really elevates the look of this dress and i absolutely love it and i do want to make another next we have my lemon raglan sleeve dress and i made this by using simplicity 9136 i absolutely love this dress and i wore it every week in the summer even when i was working from home i love dresses but i don't always want to feel super dressed up in them and because of the sleeves being raglan it makes the dress look sporty especially with the contrasting navy blue co color so i was able to meet the desire of wearing a dress and not looking too over the top now when I would wear this dress to the grocery store I received so many compliments and it really seemed to brighten up people's day for some reason I don't know if it was the fruits but you know it really really excited people and this dress was the dress that set off the idea of having the fruity fashion collection series that I had back in the summertime and I absolutely love it and from this dress came many many more fruity garments then we have the front tie peplum blouse that I made by using McCall 7803. I made this in collaboration with Heather of Textile Tailored Thoughts and this was a fun and creative collaboration because we both had about one and a half yards of the sheer organza that we had to incorporate with our make. And we could make any view that we wanted to to make and this is what I came up with so I was pleased with my make because although the pattern cover is not terrible it's definitely not the best and I didn't think my make would actually turn out nearly as good as it did 
I made this just in time for Easter of last year and I planned to wear it many more times in the spring and I am absolutely in love with how it turned out. Another one of my top 10 picks is my anchor dress. My family and I took vacation in San Diego, California because our cruise was canceled last summer and because we were disappointed that our cruise was canceled, we booked an excursion to go well and dolphin watching so that we could get some boat and water action and although it's not the same as a cruise ship, we enjoyed it anyway. So I thought it would be cute to make a themed dress for our excursion. So I made this dress and then I used Simplicity 8912. I had made this pattern before but in a different view and I made that for the So Maxi for Mother's Day challenge but I chose this view to make instead because it's shorter and it's like the perfect length for the hotter months. And I also like this dress a lot because it is a pullover type of dress with no closures and it also reminds me of like a tennis style dress. So this is a simple dress but it's very practical and this is now one of my TNT patterns so you would definitely see another version of this in the near future. The next make is a jumpsuit that I love love love. I made this jumpsuit for the So Maxi for Mother's Day challenge because I had plans to make one maxi but I didn't want to make two maxi dresses because I tend to step on them so I thought the jumpsuit was a great option to not have to make two maxi dresses. I use McCall 7755 and it's also McCall's 8069 due to a pattern number change but this was such a quick and easy project and I was surprisingly satisfied with how it looked on my body. I had purchased this polka dot fabric from Cozumel, Mexico when I went there a few years ago on vacation and my mother purchased the same fabric. So she and I both made looks for Mother's Day. So this was a very special garment to me for that reason. So back to the fruit. I absolutely love this strawberry dress and I made this by using a girding pattern which is Simplicity 8873. My goodness I love this dress for several reasons. <laughs> the first reason is because it has strawberries on the dress and like I said I am a fan of wearing fruit and at that time I was like completely obsessed with it. <laughs> Second I love the dress because I love the vintage feel that this dress gives and then the last reason is because it has custom cup sizes and the bodice fit me like a glove. I mean it was absolutely just a wonderful fit and I used the double D cup option to make this garment. I also love that the straps are tied so I could modify them to my liking and I also love the border print at the bottom of the dress so I feel like that really set it off. Love 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 the dress, love the strawberries on the dress and it was just a fun make and I can definitely see myself making this one again. So then we have my poncho that I made as my contribution for the Sew Your View challenge that takes place every month on Instagram. I had not participated in the challenge for a while prior to making this because of time constraints but I already had picked this pattern up because it was newly released and I wanted to sew it and then the Sew Your View page had posted it and I just had to whip it up. Had to whip it up. This is such a great project to get your sojo back because there are hardly any pattern pieces to it and it doesn't take advanced sewing skills to make it. So like it's a very beginner friendly and it takes hardly no time to construct. I use this beautiful cashmere sweater knit fabric that I purchased from Joanne Fabrics. It is very nice and flowy and I love it. Now although the pattern does run big and my poncho is a little oversized, I still like it and I still wear it and I still feel like it looks good and presentable. However, when I do make it again, I think it will be safe to go down by at least two sizes and I did make a large in that so I'm thinking I'll make a medium and then to have the perfect fit for me so that is that one and I love it. 
So the next one is my black tie gala dress that I made for the Me Made Holiday Fashion Show series. This dress is so bomb to me. I absolutely love it. I made this dress by using Vogue 1723. Again, absolutely love it and I received all types of love on this dress on Instagram. When I posted this photo on Instagram, I had to put the phone down and address the boys. But when I came back to my phone and I opened Instagram up, I thought my phone was going to blow up. There were so many likes that I had received and so many compliments. So I think most everyone else felt the same as I did about this dress and I also liked it a lot because this was a backup dress that turned out to just be absolutely wonderful. Now I love the dress because of the design of the dress. I love how flowy it is and the loose fit um, after you get past the bodice. I love the ties on the back of the dress and I love the balloon sleeves. This dress to me just screams elegant and although this dress is elegant. The pattern can be made to be more dressed down based off of the fabric that you use. So not necessarily the pattern, but basically using a different fabric could kind of dress it down some and it would still just be a gorgeous everyday type of dress. And I am going to make this dress again in a fabric that I think would be perfect for this because I love it that much. Yes, I do. The fabric that I used to make this was a crepe back satin, which is my favorite type of satin. Next, we have the oversized hoodie. Now listen, <laughs> this may not be everyone's cup of tea, but when you live in the northern part of the United States during the winter months, this is something that you will want in your closet to grab at. I'm telling you, it is so cold here. Like today, it's nine degrees, okay? And that is what's registering on the thermostat. So I'm pretty sure it's colder because there's always a real feel, right? So again, it is so cold here. And I see this as a wearable blanket as well as an oversized hoodie. I wear this around the house. I take naps in it. I wear it to get the mail and I take it when I go on walks. I wear it, I should say, when I go on walks. And I don't care that reindeers are on my hoodie because it keeps me more warm and I'm gonna wear it, okay? I made it, I'm gonna wear it. <laughs> now, I do think that I will make another one that is not so seasonal so that I can have the option of wearing one with reindeers or one without reindeers. And I think I'll probably do that in late fall, early, winter um, but it's definitely a great option that you should have in your wardrobe i made this oversized hoodie by using simplicity 9456 and i love this because of what it is an oversized hoodie <laughs> i love how squishy and how big it is and it's squishy because not only did i use fleece for the exterior but i used a sherpa for the interior lining so it's very very soft and squishy it's big and i just love the oversized kangaroo pocket so this is definitely a staple for my winter wardrobe and then i love this shirt dress that i made by using macaws 8031 this is considered an easy to sew pattern and i do feel like it is an easy to sew pattern i wasn't sure if i was going to like it when i was making it because it kind of looked like a coat and then the neckline seemed kind of low on the model but when i put it on the neckline was low i loved it and it was so perfect for me <laughs> i made this dress with the colder fall and winter months in mind because i like wearing dresses but i don't like being cold so i use this cotton flannel plaid and it definitely has served its purpose i am not cold in this dress at all i wear leggings underneath and i wear a tank top underneath to make sure that i'm layered up and i can still have that dress look in the winter time and still be warm so perfect 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 so that is all for my top 10 picks of my 2021 makes. I hope you enjoyed this video and 
like I said earlier, please let me know in the comment section below what your take is, what your thoughts are, and which one is your favorite. Thank you so much for watching and thank you to all of my new and returning subscribers for your support. If you are not subscribed, please consider subscribing and click the gray notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I upload a video and I will see you in the next one. Bye!